said that you would turn on your radio I every did. day at dawn and you were not there! <laughs> And then he put his hand on my shoulder for a second. He didn't even squeeze it, he just, like, rested his hand on top of my shoulder. And I was just thinking, how could he not hate me? How could this guy not hate me? Many people see my death as a tragedy. That is very wrong. In my opinion, they did not tell you. When Apollo gave me wings, they did not tell you that I knew I would burn in flames. You know, if you want to be happier, you have to try. You have to put in the effort. Your problem is that you don't try. I do try. I have tried. I have tried for 16 years.
that many people have been worried about my well-being recently, so I wanted to remind everyone that I am going to be okay. Battling mental illness is really messy and it looks really bad, but I assure you all, I am going to be okay. Another thing I'd like to address is that people have been urging me to get help. Please do not worry, I am receiving professional help. That all being said, I appreciate the concern and all the support I've been receiving. Thank you for everything.
going through something. 1,855 days. I've been going through something. Be no middle way in dealing with transgenderism. It is all or nothing. Keep men out of women's sports. Uh, these people are sick. They're deranged. If transgenderism is false, as it is, if men really can't become women, as they cannot, then it's false for everybody, too. And if it's false, then we should not indulge it. And they want to immediately sign a new executive order to cut federal funding for any school pushing critical race theory, transgender insanity, and other inappropriate racial, sexual, or political content on our children. If it is false, then for the good of society, and especially for the good of the poor people who have fallen prey to this confusion, transgenderism must be eradicated from public life entirely. The whole preposterous ideology at every level. Don't be afraid.